Hey everybody, what's going on out there? Hope everybody's having a good day. I want to say hi to Bubba K and Mr. Barry, Craig, Stephen and Jacqueline. Rick's out there. Let's see if I missed anybody. Oh, it looks like uh, we got it for now. I'm, I'm sure other folks will trickle in. We've got a cool guest for you tonight. This guy is like into Cajun Creole cooking. Uh, ever since I booked him, I've wanted to have him on here. I was just talking to him behind stage. And uh, really looking looking forward to having him on. So let me do one last thing. Boom, posted it. I uh, just want to show you guys his page real quick. Make sure everybody's subscribed to it. There we go. Our new barbecue and more. Like I said, and Dewey, Cajun chicken. I mean, this guy, he, he knows his stuff. So... Uh, yeah, let's bring him on. What do you say, guys? Should we bring him on? I think it's a great idea. All right. Richard, what's going hey, on, my friend? It's going. How about you? I'm good. Thank you for being on the show. Appreciate it very much. Oh, uh, Thank you for having me. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We've got Josh from Skinner Farms on. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. All right, guys. You saw we got Richard on. Make sure you're subscribed to his channel, Our New Barbecue and More. And uh, let's uh, let's jump into the questions. You ready, Richard? Sure thing. All right. What are you drinking tonight? Doors, fifteen year. Nice. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. Nothing wrong with that at all. Oh, our co oh. host is here. Come on. Um, don't be shy. All right. Uh, where do you live? Where are you from, and where do you live? I'm originally from New Orleans, but I now live about 90 minutes north of it uh, in Independence. Uh, Katrina kind of chased me out. Uh, I got <laughs> flooded out. So, you know, so now I live 90 minutes north of New Orleans. Okay. That's got to be a cool area. It really does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I live, I live out in the woods. Where the parish residents don't believe in Wi-Fi internet run through the parish. <laughs> okay, Richard, I want to introduce you to Monica. She's the co-host. Monica, this is Richard. Hey, Hi Monica. There. Right on. Hi. And we've got. Uh, looks like we've got Terry here. We've got. Uh, oh, we got Lee. Lee's here. So Lee from Smoking Bears. Right on. Thanks for showing up. And we got Charlie. You know, you know Charlie, whatever. Yeah. Charlie! <laughs> Welcome, Charlie. All right. Hey, Richard, you got any animals? Yes, I do. I've got, let's see, 10 geese, 6 ducks, 2 turkeys, what? 4 guinea pigs, and a dog. And a dog. All right. Reminds me of that Christmas song. You know, <laughs> oh, yeah. five guinea pigs, four and a, partridge, feet, and a, and a dog. <laughs> and you dog. said have about thirty animals, but uh, you know, things happen living out in the woods. <laughs> that they do. That they do. <laughs> All right. So tell us a little bit about your channel, Richard. Well, we're a barbecue channel that also does Cajun Creole cooking. You know, we've done desserts on the channel. You know, we pretty much do a hodgepodge of everything. Right now, I'm concentrating more on Cajun Creole cooking, uh, teaching you how to do it on your grills and smokers. So letting you know that, hey, look, your grills and smokers can do more than just uh, barbecue. Okay. So you're kind of just trying to push the limits a little bit, it sounds like, of what of what a barbecue or a grill smoker can do. Yes. Right on. I, I dig that style because that's that's very much how I, I do it as well. Right on. Where can we find you on social media? Um, you can find me on all the major platforms at Our New Barbecue on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Okay. And, uh, of course, YouTube, our new barbecue and more. Yes, YouTube, yes. Yeah, <laughs> we're all here because of YouTube, right? I've met yes. more cool people because of YouTube. 
and then I met Monica. So, or, or. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sad trombone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Richard, what's your uh, earliest memory of cooking? I was about five years old, and my dad was asked me to help him out with cooking some red beans. Okay. Yeah. Right on. Was it was it outside, uh, like on a smoker, or do you do you remember? I don't remember no, much. Of five. No, my dad really wasn't too much into doing barbecue. Okay. Um, he was all all into cooking Cajun and Creole. He was uh, from a little place called Chalmette down in St. Bernard Parish. And his family was from down there for, you know, a long period of time. So they just had Cajun and Creole running through their veins. So he was teaching me all the different types of food on how to do it. Didn't tell me the names of any of what he was cooking, just taught me how to cook it. Okay. So, you know, I just learned from him on all of what to cook. Did he have like a style that, you know, looking back now, what, you know, maybe Cajun he, or Creole he, or just. He cooked, more, he cooked more Cajun than, than, than anything else. You know, what I'm finding now out as I'm, as I'm be honest with you, as I'm looking through cookbooks in order to find out the names of what he cooked, you know, because in order for me to tell you what I'm cooking, you know, I'm having to look through the through the cookbooks, you know, online to be able to tell y'all what I'm cooking because I just can't say, hey, I'm cooking cooking something. You know, yeah. I gotta give you a name for it. So it's I, I look through a cookbook and go, Oh, that's what that's called. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, yeah. so, yep. you know he just he he never told me the names of it. And I think mo most of the reason why is because he didn't remember the names of it because he got in a b very bad car accident when he was 19 years old. He got oh. hit by a drunk driver. Okay. And he just couldn't remember the names of, of what he was cooking, but he could remember what to do to cook it. So, you know, he just, he helped me out with, with that. So now I'm just having to go back through and find out what it is that I'm cooking so that way I can pass along the names of it to everybody else. Gotcha. No, that, that makes sense. And that's, that's very sad, unfortunately. Yeah. But at least you have those memories, right. Of cooking with him yeah. and, and now oh, you're, yeah. you're figuring out what he was making. That's awesome, man. So um, of, of all the things you cook, let's just say you and I are hanging out, having a few, uh, uh, with shots of whiskey. What what would be your go to dish? Um, right now it would probably be uh, alligator sauce pepon. Tell us what about it. I didn't hear that. Alligator sauce pepon. Oh. Okay. Tell us about it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> take some alligator. You take some bell pepper and onion. Take some uh, tomato sauce. And some other uh, I'm trying to remember the rest of the ingredient list right now offhand. Uh, That's okay. Take, take some Zatarans and I, I wasn't expecting to be put on the spot for that right offhand. No, 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 you're fine. You're fine, dude. I mean, just a general thing. So how do you yeah. cook it? How do you cook it? Is it on a grill or um, smoking? No, no. I mean, no, you put it on a uh, you put it on your stove. Okay. And you grill off the alligator real quick. Uh and you cut it up into to small little chunks and you grill off the alligator real quick. And then you put it inside the inside the uh inside the the sauce. Okay. And you let it uh, steep there for the next, you know, hour. Okay. And okay. then you put it over rice. Ooh, that sounds good. It does sound good. Yeah. I don't know. Do they sell alligator in the store there, or do you have to get oh, yeah. it yourself? Okay. I don't know. Yeah, no. I'll be I'll be cooking that uh, very shortly. Uh, I've got a 
friend that uh, he alligator hunts, and uh, he's giving me some. Uh, uh, he processed uh, an alligator, and he's going to be giving some me some of his uh, alligator uh, within the next uh, week or so. Okay. Yeah. So, Monica, you, Monica, do you want to ask the question? Um. So, did you did you have like a, an influence besides just your dad? Did for cooking growing up? Um, my mother would cook all the big holiday meals. Um, did, did you help out with that? No, we 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 weren't allowed to really. <laughs> do <much of> that. <laughs> I, uh, I can understand yeah. that. <laughs> my, my mother was kind of, you know, she would, on the weekends, she would cook and stuff like that. So we'd help out on that, you know, to give my dad a break <laughs> because he would cook all, all five days long. Because I'm from a, a, a family of five. So he, he had to cook a lot. Okay. And, Charlie, and, go ahead. And he, he, we would, he would cook a lot of food. Cause we're we're big people, <laughs> so we ate a lot. Okay, and you know he he would cook all five days long. All right. So the weekend we would help my mom cook on the weekend, but on the for the big for the big holiday meals, my dad would get a break because it would <laughs> just be too long for him to cook. You know, and then uh, she would take over the cooking for the holiday meals. Okay. And so we wouldn't help out with her on that because, you know, she just didn't want us in the kitchen doing anything. Gotcha. <laughs> Screwing right. anything up. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Charlie yeah. wants to know what's your favorite cook and what spices does uh, do you like for it? Ooh. Oh, that Charlie will put you on the spot every time. Oh, Charlie. It all depends on the on the meal. Like, okay. it, it, is it if it's for breakfast? I like, uh, I like eggs Benedict. Okay. But how about, it, how about dinner? With, but with, but for dinner. I'll take something simple like a, you know, a roast beef po' boy. Okay. You yeah, know, that's great. That's great. Or I'll take a catfish with a, a crawfish sauce over top of it. Okay, that sounds good. Actually, that was really you good. know with, with rice underneath it. Okay, Very you nice. know those those two would be my go to uh, underneath that. Okay. Very nice. So, um, what is your favorite item to cook with? And that can include maybe just your grandma's cast iron pan to your smoker out back. Well, when I had to get, when I got married the first time, um, because I was just so accustomed to cooking with them, I had to get, uh, I don't know if y'all are familiar with them, but Magnolite Pots. Oh, yeah. I've never heard of it. Yeah, we had that. <laughs> They're heavy-duty aluminum pots yeah okay they're thick thick heavy duty aluminum pots they're very prevalent down here you know they hold and retain heat very well and you know that's what i cooked on when i was with my parents so when you know, I got married the first time. I had to get them. And that's what I still cook on today. When I got divorced, those came with me. 
<laughs> hey, man with priorities, man. Come on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Gotta hold on to your cookware. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So in the in your pots, is there one food or a vegetable or whatever that you will not cook in them? For me, it'd be broccoli. Yeah, I don't do Brussels sprouts. <laughs> okay, um, that's legal. <laughs> yeah, I neither do, do you I. Eat okra? Do you make okra? No, I don't. That's one thing that I never could could get a taste for. Yeah, it's kind of slimy. Yeah. You know, I just, my dad loved it. And I just never could get a taste for, for okra. Do you guys eat squirrel? I've had squirrel, yes. It's hard really? to come by, but but I've had squirrel. My One of my dad's friends would uh, come by and drop it off because he squirrel hunted a lot. You have to use one of those little tiny forks to scrape <laughs> off the meat. <laughs> Actually, just use their bones. He, he brought in pretty meaty squirrels, you know. <laughs> so it, it was a it was a good fair amount of meat. Uh, only me and my dad would eat them, you know. My brothers wouldn't touch them, nor my mom, but only me and my dad would eat them. Uh, okay. We're supposed to ask you about the name Bones. Ah, yes. <laughs> At the bottom of my videos, when I introduce myself, you'll see that it says Bones on there sometimes. Okay. That that stems from if you if you're a Star Trek fan. Yeah, Doctor McCoy. Yeah. Yes, how he got his name Bones. I thought it's because it was Doctor. <laughs> but yes, but it's also due to the fact that when he got divorced, the only thing he that had he had was, his bones. was his bones. The only thing That's I have left on the whole damn planet is my bones. Yep. Exactly. That's all his ex wife left him. Yep. So <laughs> right after my divorce, I, I changed my, my middle name on Facebook and everything else to that. The bones. <laughs> You could put pans in there too, right? Bones and pans. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, and Facebook was going through everybody, making everybody change their their names back to their legal names. But somehow I got I skated through. So, <laughs> hey, I'll stick with it. And oh, I love it. And everybody still calls me Bones to this day. All right, so, Bones. I like it. Take it. All right, Bones, here's a here's a question for you. Um, ever cook a meal that you thought was going to be awesome and turned out horrible? And you can't use squirrel as an example. Beer and brats. Beer and brats. Okay, Bones. Yeah. Tell us that, about it. What happened? That uh, that happened. It's up on my channel. You could still watch it today. Mm -hmm. uh, it was beer and bratwurst. I followed the recipe that I got off, off the internet, to be honest with you. And I did it exactly the way they said. Added the 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 Dijon mustard, added the the they said put apple in there, and then they said put you know, put the beer in there, put all the stuff in there, followed it exactly, let it steep, let it do everything that it was supposed to do. And it just tasted horrible. <laughs> like, it was some of the nastiest stuff. Like, I might have take, taken a, a thing of Brussels sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, when you're, I got to watch this video now because you were like, oh, this is the best. Or it was like, oh my, I'm going to give this to my dog. <laughs> no, no, I was like, I was like, maybe this might appeal to you. <laughs> I know what I'm watching tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, this might appeal to you, but you know, give this a try and see if you like it. But you know, it's not something that I would go for again. Gotcha. Oh, well, you know, things aren't for everybody, right? So you just like took a stab in the dark to make it, or had you had it before? I just took a stab because I was doing a whole month of nothing but uh, German spices 
because I got a care package from a guy in Germany. And because me and him uh, traded uh, spices, I okay. sent a care package to him. He sent one back to me. And, you know, I was taking a stab in the dark because at that time I was doing a whole month long video of, you know, I was trying to do at least three a week of German recipes. Mm. So, you know, I was just pulling recipes and doing them. And that one just didn't turn out right. <laughs> uh, that's why I love brats and, and beer and onions. Yeah, and I can't see how that would go wrong. I don't know what I did wrong or whatever. <laughs> it's like that. Maybe I'll try it again and do, do a different recipe or something. But, you know, I, I just don't know. It's on my list, Bones, for tomorrow. It is. It is. Charlie wants to know, what's your favorite side and topping for steak? Let's see. Mushrooms. Mm. Or <clears throat> Let's see what else. Um, some restaurants down here have done crawfish. On steak or as a side? As a, as a uh, topping. Oh, wow. That's cool. The few and far between. But... You know, they. I have. I've, I have seen them do that. You know, it, it has tasted good because you can't go wrong with like a creamed crawfish, like a cream crawfish sauce. Interesting. That sounds good. It, it actually does. Yeah. Well, well I, we have a friend here that does uh, uh, a crawfish fest every year, and it's great. But okay. I never thought of it on a steak. Yeah. That's yeah, he cool. didn't do it last year because of COVID and all that. But do you yeah. guys all bring crawfish, or does he provide them? <laughs> yeah, it goes down to the river. No, no he has them uh, brought in. He gets three huge bags of these things, man. Wow! And then he just pours them into a pot, uh, you know, like half a bag at a time. And he's got cooks it with corn and potatoes and you know whatever yep. else they can think of. And then Yo. they just throw it. They they you know they strain it and then throw it on a table and yep. all these. People are like pigs at a feeding trough. Just <laughs> you know, you know, it's kind of cool to watch, actually. Oh, yeah. Tom, Tom over at Tom's Food Factory says German spices can be odd sometimes. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. But here's yeah. one. Jared at Frack Daddy uh, brought some applesauce. That actually sounds really cool. I would try that. Yeah. All right, Jared, there's your next video, buddy. Pork chops and applesauce. It's it's brats and applesauce. Brats and applesauce. I love pork chops and applesauce. I've got to try it actually. Yeah. Uh Daddy Dutch. Kent says hi, Monica. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I got the banter going on on the side. Everybody's giving Charlie crap. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sorry. I'm just going through uh, the the stuff here. Yeah. Everybody's saying hi. <laughs> I skipped up. here. All right, sorry. Let's get back on track. What do you think, Bones? Time to get back on track. Oh, we're good. All right. Who's your favorite celebrity chef aside from me? Who's your favorite celebrity chef? Um, God, what's his name? Can't say Mike I'm, Wolford. I'm, I'm bad at his names. Okay. Um, oh, that one guy. <laughs> but, he yells at everybody. Oh, 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 I can picture his face, too. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Who? Elle's Kitchen guy. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, I forget yeah. his name, too. <laughs> yeah. I just watched something of his, too. Yeah, Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, I can't think of the dude's name. Ramsey. Uh, yeah, yeah, Gordon Ramsey. Gordon Ramsey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I like I like watching him because he just, you know, he, he had a show where he, uh, he would go in and tear the food apart that they would serve him, and then he'd fix the fix the uh, fix the restaurant. Oh yeah, yeah, like that that. Show too. You know, I, okay, I love I love watching that show. Yeah, you know, because he would just like he he would be like, "This food is crap." <laughs> <laughs> Serving me, <laughs> then he'd go in the kitchen and he would tear the kitchen apart. 
and then he'd just remake the restaurant. You know, gotcha. it it was it was beautiful. It's kind of like God makes him and makes the restaurant in His image. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. He'd see how nasty, like the the kitchens were too. He'd be like, "How oh, can you cook like this?" And he'd be like pulling out rats and stuff, cockroaches. Yeah. It was yeah. gross. He'd be like, "There's mold on here." Yeah, it was like the BBC. Like, how clean is your house? But for kitchens, <laughs> yeah, restaurant kitchens. So, have you have you ever met him or any other celebrity chefs? Um. I've met Emerald. Oh, oh shut up. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I've met He's him from around there. Yeah. Bam. I've met and I've met God. I've met a couple of other ones. You met God? <laughs> he hasn't met Gordon Ramsay yet. <laughs> Trying to remember the other ones that I've met. Bobby it's, Flay. Oh God, no, I hate him. <laughs> he he cooks everything with pepper. If you, you look like at, pepper? I I don't mind pepper, but everything he does is with with hot pepper. Gotcha. With it, it, it's jalapeno, or um, or it's, or it's ghost pepper, or it's or it's this type of pepper or that type of pepper. Like, dude, get some variety in what you cook. <laughs> That's you why know? when he goes up against the real cooks or the home cooks, he usually lose, loses, right? Exactly. It's like, you know, when I would watch him go up against home cooks or whatever else like that, it'd be like, all he does is cook something and adds in a hot pepper. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's how I am, but with garlic. <laughs> yeah. Like, can you get some variety in what you do, dude? There like, you go. Please. You know, yeah. it's like for for a little Legit while he was on a kick. Yeah. You know, I I just I can't stand Bobby Flay. <laughs> okay. No, that's legit, man. That's legal. What uh what would you say if 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 you could pick a chef for me uh who who was who would who would you say is an influence on you? Repeat that. You kind of broke up. Or it could be the way I stuttered there with my white Russian. If you could pick a chef or a person aside from me, who is a, an influence on you, who would you pick? When it comes to cooking, of course. Well, besides my dad, um, I would go with Justin Wilson. I don't think I've ever heard of that person. Me neither. Look, oh. look, look him up. He's they've got a running YouTube channel for him. Justin Wilson. He is a Cajun cook that had a PBS channel, uh, a public broadcasting service channel down here in Louisiana. They they he play they play his uh, videos twenty four seven. Was he from the seventies or something like that, or maybe the early eighties? It was like from the seventies through the nineties. Yeah, the Basically, Cajun, the Cajun cook, or something like that, wasn't yeah, it? Or... Up until he died. Okay. Yeah, Keith says Cajun cook. Yep. Yep. Now oh, I know who you're talking about. I did, I just didn't realize his name. Okay. Yeah. He, he he was Justin Wilson's Cajun cooking, and you know, we we basically watched. Watched him religiously. Okay. You know, and, you know, my dad would have him on a lot. And then the next up, my dad would watch a lot. He would never cook anything he made. But my dad would have on uh, Yon Can Cook. Okay. Y'all know who, y'all ever heard of him? No. Yeah, I'm like, Striking another PBS, another PBS channel. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, we watch PBS a lot. Yeah, Tom says he watched him too. So okay. 
Right on. But uh, yeah, no, my my influence on that would be uh, Justin Wilson. Okay. Yeah, and Keith makes a good point too. Now that now that I know who you're talking about, he introduced Cajun food to America, and, and I would 100% agree with Keith on that. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Here, Charlie. Charlie has Jan, Justin, Julia, Jock as the lineup. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, that's reaching way back. That's cool, though. That mm -hmm. is way cool. That right on. Right on. Yeah. Oh. I, used to, I used to watch all of those channels. And then I would also watch uh, the uh, Home Improvement Channel back when TLC was actually Home Improvement and not what right. it is now. Like MTV back in the day when it was music. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, all the, and the History Channel, same thing. Yeah, exactly. They showed, yeah, yeah. You know, exactly. so it's like now my brothers actually call me up and be like, "Hey, how do you fix this?" You know, so I could actually probably roll how to fix things into my barbecue and hot barbecue and more channel is how to fix things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How to fix your cooking. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get a shift gear. Here's here a little bit. And let's just kind of get into your channel a little, little more. Uh, no, she's laughing. Uh, what inspired you? Tom, Tom, oh. Tom says that he, his mom likes watching liked watching the galloping gourmet to see how drunk they get on the show. <laughs> this is kind of like Charlie's live streams. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The good old days when you could get drunk. Oh, no, wait a minute. I did that two months ago. Hello. <laughs> wait, that was last week. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, it was last week. All right. What inspired you to start your channel, Richard? I mean, Bones. <laughs> uh, well, a couple things. One... I uh, I like food, um, but mainly I'm medically retired, so I wanted to share my knowledge of food and how I cook because now I have the time to do it. Because before that, I was working close to 80 and 90 hours a week. Wow. You know. That's like having a YouTube channel. channel. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's why I started off with I was medically retired. You know, is because the place that I worked at basically broke me. You know, and now they're in the business. Okay. Well, so at least I'm here. You that's know. kind of it's it's for one it, it sounds like an outlet for you right? yeah yeah you got to exactly. keep active it doesn't matter what age you are you just got to keep active and keep it going man i yeah. dig that that's cool so you know like i said they i was working 80 90 hours a week and then i go down to working nothing so now it's like okay what am i going to do with my time well now i can share my knowledge of cooking with everybody else and let people know what's going on. So now I can do that and have fun doing it. And do things that way. Sorry, I'm summoning a little bit over. No, you're fine, man. No, you're fine. But hey, um, give me another hour. I <laughs> will be too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, my dad also was a big influence on it, too. Um, he's passed away now, um, but he always wanted to uh, open a restaurant and share his cooking knowledge and, and food with everybody else, too. But this is also my way of passing on his knowledge that I can remember with everybody else, too. That's cool. That's way cool, dude. So yeah, Charlie it, wants to know what's something regional that you don't think other people know. Charlie always asks the hard questions. I know. <laughs> I'm to make him write up the, the questions. <laughs> <laughs> so something that's maybe just like you know, unique to your region of the country or maybe your state. 
Well, you'll probably know about hoghead cheese. What? No. Huh? <laughs> no, Charlie might. I don't. <laughs> tell, tell us about it. Please do. Um, it's basically it's the remnants of what it is left over from the head of a of a hog. I like head cheese or kind of, but it's the remnants of whatever's left of the, of of the head of a hog, like the jowls, the 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 brain, the the just every everything that's left over from the remnants of the hog. And it's put into a gelatin base. Okay. And is this bread? No, no. You cut it into slices, and you eat it. Eat it like it's kind of kind of like spam. You you cut it into slices, and you and you eat it that way. So I'm seeing some people saying it's like head cheese and stuff like that. So it's probably that up wherever anybody else is is there you know okay. but yeah i'm not a fan of it you know never have been my parents were are a fan of it i just it's not an acquired taste for me it's, it's, huh. it's kind of interesting like the older generation like my grandparents some of the things that you're just like no right i'm gonna pass you know yeah. i get it because they were from the, such a different generation where they they ate everything. Nothing went to waste, right? Like my grandmother is from was from the generation where she drank curdled milk. I, I just I I didn't right. get mine too. We over, yeah, we went over, yeah, we went over to her house yeah. and was like, "Grandma, the the milk is bad." She goes, "No, it's not. Yes, man, it, there's chunks in the milk. We need to yeah. new milk. Like yeah. we we will not drink this milk." Exactly. Or uh, buttermilk. You go to a restaurant and they, they why is there no buttermilk on the menu? You know, <laughs> yeah. like, buttermilk. I'm not going to drink. You use that to cook. You know, but that's what well, they, that's who they were. You know, so. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What was your biggest challenge to starting your channel and how did you overcome it? Funding. Okay. You know, being being medically retired, you know, you, you you don't have a lot of excess funding going around, you know, because you know, paying bills and other stuff comes first, so you don't have a lot of excess funding. Um, mm -hmm. How I went around it, uh, well, I sold off some stuff. And Some geese? I was able to <laughs> nah uh sold off uh some some you know, some tools. Nah, sold off some tools, sold off uh some uh some uh firearms and other stuff like that, you know. Okay. Yeah, that uh, could be a big hurdle. Yeah. yeah but now I'm that. in now I'm into the uh, eBay business. Okay, because I right found some other stuff lying around that uh, I, I'm I've got enough stuff to keep me occupied in the eBay business probably for the next uh, year or so. Nice, you know, because I didn't realize how much stuff I had just lying around. So I'll be in the eBay business for a good long while. There you go. Chris from East Fun Farms wants to know what's your favorite gun or rifle. Ooh. Depends. Pickles is guest Daisy Daisy uh writer. <laughs> <laughs> That's Chris's favorite, not Richard's. <laughs> I like my I like my AR, but I had to sell off my uh, my uh what was that? The uh, uh, Schmidt Rubin, uh, eighteen ninety six. Oh wow! It was a, it was a, a seven point five five by five five. Okay. Uh, it was manufactured back in nineteen oh three. Like the old hex barrels, or 
No, it it was a it was a it was a smooth barrel, but it had and it, it was sm uh, spiraled in inside. But uh, it was actually brought over. What made it more valuable was the fact that it was brought over by the CIA. Oh, uh, because they were trying to see how easy was it to smuggle rifles into the United States. <laughs> Probably pretty easy, actually. It was it, it was very easy back in the sixties. Yeah, and it had a had the stamp on it from 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 them of the company that they smuggled it in from. Okay, so it made it very valuable. So, you know, I was able to sell it off uh, for a good dollar. Nice, very cool. There you go, Chris. There's your answer, buddy. What uh, if you could start your channel? Let's say we'll go back to day one. What would you do differently? When starting your channel, not started off with a uh, with a uh, uh, GoPro. Okay. Well, it's, yeah. sometimes you got to start with what you got, right? Yeah, you know, not started off with a GoPro. Try to get better angles, you know, stuff like that. But that's all stuff we learn as we go. I mean, I look at my first videos, and and you're probably the same way, and. I struggle watching them. I cringe. Look at those yeah. things like, oh my God. I, I matter of fact, I've been tossing around going back to some of my original 10 episodes and redoing five of them just because they yeah. suck so bad. Well, it's like also too is, is that I, I find that like me and YouTube, we were, we were in a battle for a little while and they weren't telling me the fact that uh, like when people would try to search for me, they weren't sending them to me. Correct. Yeah, they were sending them to what's new barbecue. Yes, I I remember that when I looked you up when I went to look up your page tonight because I'm using my other channel for it. That's what it sent me to. I had yeah. to actually scroll through to find it. Yeah. So I switched my name over to this to try to help help it out, but it's still messing with me. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like, you know, what what the heck's going on? You know, so it's like that's why I switched my name over to this. Gotcha. Is try to. I, I remember try talking to about that. Issue. Yeah, I remember us, you and I talking online about that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Charlie wants to know uh, about your thumbnails. and it, uh, Why don't you use food as your thumbnail anymore? It's confusing. Well, Charlie's easily confused, but he's going to like, oh, there we go. Lost five, five watchers. Thanks, Charlie. All five of Charlie's channels just left. <laughs> well, because I was, I, I was trying something different. Okay. Seeing if it would get more views. You know, but, uh, you know, I'm getting about the same. So probably going to be switching back. Okay. It's perplexing, so, isn't it? I, I've been yeah. trying different styles and everything lately. And I'll run three or four different, you know, episodes one way and I don't, nothing changes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. a head scratcher. Yeah. I, I go to, I've, I've gone to some of the, you know, YouTube gurus, you could say, mm -hmm. and watch some of what they say. So I've like, I've tried some of the suggestions that they've said, and that's why you've seen me switch some things up lately. Yeah. And the results are still kind of the same. Yeah. So, it's, it's perplexing. I just watched a thing from Nick Najimanin or whatever. Yeah, I've and, seen stuff, yeah, because I did. I just did a stupid short on our vacuum cleaner, you know, and it got actually got some views. But uh, he was talking about, you know, if you're a cooking channel, stay on cooking, don't mix it up. I'm just like, well, wait a minute, this stupid 39 second video got more <laughs> views than my regular videos, you know? <laughs> so, and it got yeah. me three subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell, dude? <laughs> right. So, oh, Uncle Steve's out there. Welcome, Uncle Steve. Appreciate it. 
Uh, well, let's uh, let's get back on track here. Uh, I don't I don't have an answer either, dude. I no, don't. I don't. <laughs> so that, that's why I say I I, I I try different things for a little while and see if they catch. And you know, if it doesn't, I, I move on to something different. Gotcha. So if you um, when when you film. Do you is it just you or do you have somebody else helping you? Just you, just, me. just you. Nobody, I only had one video where I had help, okay. And, and that was the uh, that was the uh, the pepper jack oyster video. Oh, I think I remember that, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that video right now has like 300 plus views so that that's like my most viewed video from like a year ago yeah. but other than that you know it's just me gotcha okay so you know charlie like, go ahead go ahead sorry like, i've got to i've got to have all these extensions extension arms and everything else like that to move the camera into different positions Mm -hmm. And everything else like that, just so I can get better angles and everything else, because it's just me. You know, Charlie makes a good point about what we were talking about just a moment ago. Is you can't second guess YouTube; just do what you do. And that's exactly. Uh, I released a video today, and I went back pretty much to the same format that I had before, and no real change. But you know, my my views were higher, so. What do you do? It's like we got Bill here from Grumpus. He's going to be a guest here shortly, I think in two weeks. Looking forward to that. We got Leon next week. I'm looking, not Leon, but Lee on next week. Looking forward to that as well. So, uh, all right, let's keep going. How about editing? Uh, editing, what What I use? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I use Filmora 10. Okay. And you know, it does pretty well for me. You know, at least I, I think it does. You know, uh, yeah, your videos are great, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I like them. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I spend several. Be honest with you, I think I spend way too much time in probably you know sitting there editing and re-editing. And then, you know, because I spend hours doing it, you know, uh, I just sit there and just go through the the editing process for, for a long period of time, just nitpicking it because, you know, I, yeah. I, I try to cut out a lot of the fluff. Correct. You know, that's why if you look at my videos – they're generally, instead of it being, you know, 19 minutes long and watching you sit there watching a burger, sit there and cook, I'm generally down to be about six minutes long and stuff is, you, you can get through my video pretty quick. Yeah. You know, I mean, you put me on on one and a half speed and you can get through me pretty quick. Yeah. Or you, if the hardest part I find with editing and, and maybe it sounds like you're similar is you start second guessing yourself. Yeah. Right? You know, does this really matter here? You know, and you don't know if you're cutting out something that may be the, the key to the whole damn thing. To you it's not. Yeah. I did an unedited video and, or I made a hot dog about a year ago. And it was one of my highest viewing videos. <laughs> I just really? let the damn thing run. I didn't edit stuff on that thing. Not a damn thing on that video. And it rocked. But How did you, you make know. it? Barbecue? I just put my camera up there and made a hot dog. I know, and I forgot not, something, not a so I walked. A yeah, uh, on, my, on my grill. And That's I had good. forgotten something on it. So I literally left it running while I went back inside and, for, and brought it back out. <laughs> and that was about... 45 seconds. Yeah. So just dead there, but I left it. That's funny. Like, that's a yeah. head scratcher. Yeah. Yeah. Like I say, I might might just 
overthink my my videos too much. But you know, I, I just you know <laughs> just try to. I think it's know, human see, nature. You know, see if it gets me. I was seeing if it gets me more views to where, you know, the shorter the video, you know, thinking that, Hey, look, it'll get me more subscribers because, you know, you could get through the video kind of quicker, you know? Correct. Yeah, it is what it is. Right. And like, exactly. like Charlie said, don't second guess it. Just do, do it. Right. So. Um, do you use one or two, three cameras? Um, on some of the videos I used to do, uh, my, my GoPro, I haven't done the second go, my, my, the two camera system in, in a little while. Um, I haven't, I don't know why I haven't done with the second camera in a little while. Um, but you know, uh, I'll probably be bringing that back shortly. You know, it just was, like I say, I, I was just concentrating on trying to see having the video so short to see if that'll get me more subscribers and more views, you know, trying that, that technique for a little while, you know, but, you know, uh, sure. just trying to see if that worked. Uh, for me, at least, and uh, when I do, well, I used to do two cameras, and it was just, I don't know, did you find that to be an issue when you edited with two two cameras? Say that again, it broke up. So for me, when I have two cameras going, you know, I have two feeds of basically the same thing going, right? Just a different angle. And it makes a real pain for editing. Have you found that to be a problem? No, it, it was fairly simple for me to edit them. Okay. Yeah, I, know, to me, like, it was just a pain in the ass. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I had I had no problem editing the video. You know, I I, I used to be um, an editor back in high school. Okay. So. You know, I had zero problems with that. I just throw on uh, YouTube music and have all, I have like a playlist of over like 350 different uh, music videos. I hit the shuffle button on that and I just go to town. Okay. And then, you know, what confuses the hell out of my wife when she walks in is that I have the music blaring from YouTube music and then I have the music coming from my uh and and, <laughs> and the noise coming from my voice from the from the speakers at the same time from the video <laughs> that I'm editing. She goes, How the hell can you listen from both all of all of that and be able to differentiate it? I'm like, I'm I'm perfectly fine. I can understand everything going on. Yeah. Well, it sounds like editing's in your blood, so for you, that's just kind of like natural, you know. Yeah, to me, it's a pain. It just the takes time. That's just me. Yeah, yeah that's just yeah, it's just, just me. Your last video, Cajun and Dewey. I have. Nothing came out. Tell us a little bit about that. I I love that video. I thought it was great. Oh yeah, are you there? I mean, Money? yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. You just kind of broke up a little bit, so. Okay. Yeah, your last video, Cajun and Dewey. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, it a uh, fairly simple cook. You know, just some potatoes with some andouille sausage and you know some seasoning you know you can use just some what I used was uh, some Cajun 180 
which is some local seasoning. Uh, they come from uh, New Iberia. And, you know, good people out there. I'm almost out. And uh, they have, uh, it has, uh, oh, where'd it go? I'm back. My, I think my camera, black. my laptop's <laughs> there he goes. out all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm back. There's network issues. Like, where'd he go? Where'd the moderator go? <laughs> yeah, it's like this, uh, the thing down below, recipes with Risa. By the way, hi. Shit, I clicked on that a minute ago. It <laughs> went up, so I think my laptop just kind of wigged out or the network, so. But I, I could hear everything you were saying, surprisingly. Okay. So you were seasonings from New Iberia, etc. Yeah. You know, I was, I'm trying to work out a deal with them right now, you know, seeing, seeing what's what I can work out with them, you know, okay. for sponsorship. Okay. One of my favorite videos of yours was the sweet and spicy barbecue turkey. Ah, with, yeah. with applewood on your pit barrel. Mind tell us, telling us about that? What, I mean, is that something that you did all along? You've done all along or uh, just something you pulled out of your hat? No, I, God, I love doing turkey on the pit barrel. You know, uh, me and the pit barrel are not necessarily the best of friends, me and that pit barrel junior, to <laughs> be honest with you. Um, I need to replace the, the bottom the uh the bottom uh what's that uh the the covering over the hole because i think it's a little too too small for it okay. but it actually cooks a very good turkey uh but i can cook a turkey in that thing in a in about two hours nice no matter what, what size turkey it is it just put the sweet and spicy seasoning, which that's my favorite seasoning from Uncle Steve. Oh, yeah. And he's on here tonight, by the way. Oh, yeah. Gotta love Uncle Steve. There he is right there. No, nope, other side. Sorry. Right there. <laughs> Got his head on right here. Right on. Yep. I pretty much use Uncle Steve's shakes for everything. Oh, yeah. Uh, but. Put that seasoning on there, and then you know, put the put the wood on on the smoker, and literally in about two hours, it'll be done. Nice. Yeah, that was a great video. I I really enjoyed that one. I, I actually did. And I Thank thought you. with that apple wood because I bought some apple wood recently, just the, the chunks that I want to put into my Weber kettle. But uh, haven't done it yet. They just sit in the, on the side. So, all right. Uh, just a quick message to Carrie. Perfect. I'll put you down. Carrie's going to be our guest next, one of our guests next month on the 24th of February. So, oh, awesome. So, uh, um, 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 what is the so are you favorite? Hunt? Do you hunt at all? Do you hunt at all? Yeah, alligators. Do, do I, I hunt? I, I no, you know, I do. Do you hunt alligators too? You said your friend did, but do you? My friend did. My friend does, but I I don't. Okay. I I have, I have too many health problems mm. to get out there and do anything. Um, I've been I've been having health problems for the last twenty years. Uh -oh. Um, and I've been diagnosed with Crohn's for uh -oh. the last few years. My wife's then, mom has that. For the last seven years, uh, I have fibromyalgia and chronic pain and several other issues where it caused me to become medically retired. And I just can't physically do any of, of the type of things anymore. So it's just... You know, it causes, you know, just too many problems for me to get out there and do things of that nature, you know. 
Yeah, I my wife mother has Crohn's. My mother in law, in fact, she was just admitted to the hospital last night and needed uh, mm -hmm. some blood. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, Crohn's is a biatch, man. No thanks. Yeah. No thanks. Yeah, no. And, I, I was I I I was put in there for emergency surgery, uh, and that's how we found out for me. Okay. I know Crohn's is one of those things they can take out your entire colon, and and it can be in other parts of your body as well. So Jeez, unlike yeah. colitis, yeah, it's pretty right. pretty crazy. Yeah, I had <clears throat> that, and they put a. Uh, Lost me bag on me for nine months senior year of high school. Okay. Oh, and oh, yeah, right after high school, they did the reversal and I wasn't able to join up with it because I wanted to join the army. Okay. And I wasn't able to do that. And I was just too, you know, too messed up physically to do anything. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, moving on. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, my wife's got a lot of medical problems too, and yeah, I know all about. I know oh, I would say all about, but I know quite a lot about what's going on. So, yeah. Uh, Bones, what is your favorite video you've made so far? Let's see. God, there's so many. Uh, <laughs> we can come back to that. How about that? Yeah. We'll come yeah. back to it, you know. What I, it would be the, the what I like the the one that I like the most, the one that I want to revisit the most is the Big Mac one. Oh yeah, I've been thinking about doing one of those. Yes, I, I remember watching that one, yeah. Cause you know, I did that one too early on in my career. You know, the backyard Big Mac. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I wish I didn't do that so early on. Because I, I did that one very early on, and I wanted I want to revisit that one. Yeah, I you know, I like I was saying, I'd love to revisit about five of my first ten, and redo them, just yeah. because you know so much more. Now, you know, you've got so much more wearing yeah, so you know. videos and other stuff under your belt. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Guys, it's eight o'clock, and um, this guy needs to take a break, as in, aka, somebody's at the front door. Richard, don't go anywhere. Monica, don't go anywhere. You guys are stuck. You can't move anywhere. If you got to take a pee, you can't do it. You guys are You're not my real here. mom. You can't tell us what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, are you okay with uh, taking a three-minute, four-minute break or so? Yeah, no, I'm good. All right. Guys, we will be right back because there's somebody at the front door. So All you right. guys talk amongst yourselves. Be right back. Yeah.